Welcome to the 10 pound carnivore challenge. There are a lot of eating challenges going around on YouTube, cheat days, especially in the fitness community, whether it's bodybuilders or strongmen, promoting incredibly unhealthy eating habits, stuffing themselves full of fast food, junk food, processed foods. Now, the carnivore diet does go against conventional wisdom quite a bit. You know, eat your fruits and veggies, meat is bad for you. That's what we've been told our whole lives. But that couldn't be further from the truth. That being said, it's going to take quite a bit of convincing to get someone to think eating 14,000 calories worth of steak is okay. The purpose of this 10 pound carnivore challenge is twofold. One, show how efficiently the human body digests animal protein. Two, get people to understand how good they can feel when eating said high quality animal foods, you know, which will hopefully make people more open-minded to me being a health food as our bodies react positively to it, even in absurd amounts. Granted, it's not feedlot beef, crappy, low quality, conventionally raised animals. You know, those porks, chickens, and cows that are essentially being tortured in factory farms. The rules are pretty simple. Eat as much beef as you can comfortably over the course of the day. My reason for making this challenge is not to feel like a stuffed little piggy. We want to stay reasonably within the parameters of human digestive capability. Do not eat until you are stuffed. I cannot emphasize this enough. You know, that's not the purpose of this challenge. In regards to preparation of the meat, cooked, raw, salted, seasoned, does not matter. Thing is, the more you salt, cook, and season your meat, the thirstier you will get, and the longer it will take for the meat to digest. Uh, so I'm going to opt for minimal cooking and salting when I do this. Also, leaner cuts will allow you to consume more in general, and although eating only steaks and lean meat isn't ideal on a carnivore diet, it works for this challenge. So let's take a look at what I'm having. Since I have a whole strip loin here, what I'm going to do is weigh it, and then at the end of the day, we'll see how much we have left over. So this is just under nine pounds. Let me actually cut this to get a more accurate measurement. Now I'm probably at a disadvantage here because I'm using a lower grade of Wagyu. You know, the amount of marbling in this is probably close to prime. Eight pounds, 14 ounces, just under nine pounds of meat. Let's get cooking. Since this is the first meal of the day, I figured I could eat a little bit more. Uh, so I cooked up uh, three steaks, which is about three and a half pounds. I have my salt here. So I guess let's get started. I think I cook these a little longer than I usually do. Uh, it's still completely raw in the middle though. I guess that's what happens when you cook a cold steak. But let's chow down. Uh, this is the Wagyu from Frankie's Free Range Meat. It's so tender, it's ridiculous. So tender. If you do this challenge, really make sure to chew the food well. Uh, Time-wise, it is about 11 in the morning, so... I think I plan on eating like every two hours or so. If I can eat like a pound and a half, two pounds of meat every two hours, maybe not. All right, I'm like one steak in, and I'm really feeling those four cups of eggnog I drank last night. I think I would have really benefited from fasting yesterday. I actually did this challenge last year, and I never published the video. I don't remember why, but uh, I ended up eating, I think, like almost seven pounds of meat throughout the whole day. I highly doubt I'm going to get to that today. I think that was split up between four meals last time. So the first meal, I think I ate like two, two and a half pounds of meat. The second meal, I probably ate like two pounds. Then I ate like one and a half. Yeah, that sounds about right. Maybe six and a half, seven pounds of meat was my record. But I think if you go really long, like if you have an 18 or 20 hour day, it's pretty possible to eat like eight, nine pounds of meat in a day. Uh, so I ate most of that second steak, uh, but I trimmed a bunch of the fat off of it. So uh, what I also did in the challenge that I did a year ago was I was like trimming the fat off of the steaks just because you know, your body can only digest so much fat so efficiently. 
I know I said the point of this challenge is not to do it until you feel sick. And I'm, I'm, I like I like almost feel sick right now, so I'm gonna stop. Uh, that's about two pounds of steak down, 11 a.m. In two, three hours, I'll see how I feel. You know, lately I haven't been doing like only steak meals in my diet. You know, so today being only steak, definite change of pace. Uh, so I went to the gym. It's about 3.30 p.m. now, so four and a half hours from the previous meal. You know, working out, burning off some calories, getting my digestion flowing. I feel like I have some more room, so I actually cooked up another steak uh, to have with the steak from the previous meal. Uh, so this is the steak that I cooked on the wood fire, and I seared this one in a pan uh, because it started raining outside. So uh, we're going to chow down and see how far we get. I really wish I had some leaner steaks for this. This Wagyu is really fatty. Hard to eat a lot of. You know, I'm eating a lot of pure fat, so. If you guys decide to do this challenge, or really just in general for any meals, don't leave your steaks out for a few hours. Try to cook them as you're eating them, because this one tastes so much better than the old steak. I can't emphasize that enough, no. This is like twice as good as the one that was sitting on the counter. So what I'm actually doing here is I'm cutting off like the more cooked edges, because this cooked meat isn't going to digest as well as, you know, the, the rare, the raw meat on the inside. And, you know, after I've eaten four or five pounds of meat, I need as much digestive efficiency as possible. Uh, cooked protein is a lot harder for your body to break down from an enzyme perspective. So I'm not actually that full right now, but uh, I think I'm going to take it easy, rest a couple hours, maybe take a nap, and then we'll have another meal. I think we're at like four and a half pounds of meat. So if I have two more meals, I think we can get close to seven, uh, but I'm not really going to push myself. I'm just going to show you guys, as I said earlier, how efficiently the human body digests protein, how I can do this comfortably and how I can feel good while doing so. You know, I could have eaten half a pound more of meat, maybe even a pound more for the first meal. I might even be able to get down another steak for this meal. But again, guys, not to beat a dead horse, not the purpose of the challenge. So after eating all that steak, I took a nap for a couple of hours. Uh, now it's almost midnight actually. Uh, so this is definitely the last time I'm going to eat. I really don't want to look at another steak again, preferably for at least a few weeks. Uh, but that's what we're going to do. I, honestly, I could go for some tartare, but I don't really want to add egg yolks to this challenge. And I've already stuffed myself full of like a hundred dollars worth of meat. So I don't really want to ruin the integrity of this challenge. Seeing as I didn't show you guys how I'm preparing this, I figured I'll show you how I pan sear the last meal and, uh, and then we'll chow down. Hopefully without vomiting. One nice thing about New York strip steaks is that they have the fat cap on the side, so you don't even need tallow. I just put the steaks in the pan and I'll let that fat render down and then I can sear the steaks in the fat from the steak. We're going to do the same thing we did for the other steaks. We're going to sear the outside for flavor, but keep the inside raw for ease of digestion. I'm actually going to add a little bit of tallow to the pan because I'm not patient enough for this fat to render. See, so we got the nice brown crust on the side already. These steaks were dried out with a paper towel, so you know, they're going to crust up pretty quickly. Yeah, it's sticking a little bit. That's really it. Only about three minutes on the stove top total to get the crust. My dad's been progressively painting the kitchen over the course of the day, so it looks like he's all finished now. I probably wouldn't have taken a nap and I would have had a couple more meals if he wasn't painting, uh, but what are you gonna do? Ideal circumstances for this carnivore challenge are that you eat about one pound of steak every hour. And if you're able to just introduce the meat to your digestive system as you digest it, I'm sure you could get to 10 pounds a day pretty easily, uh, but We'll see, you know, so there, there's one steak still left in the fridge and I still have those fat scraps from earlier. Uh, so depending on how far we get into this meal, we'll take everything, we'll weigh it, we'll subtract it from the initial weight, uh, which was like eight pounds, 15 ounces. See how close Frankie boy got. 
And you know, this meat is complete, completely raw, just a little flavor on the outside. This grass fed wagyu is so good. I don't get it. It's like, I really don't want to eat and I'm not full. And I put the steak in my mouth and it's like, all right, let's go. I'm telling you guys right now, I'm never doing this again. Like, I'm not doing this again. Have to pay me. You see like all these bodybuilders, strongmen, all these people, they're like looking forward to eating their shitty, their cheap food, but that's not how it should be. You know, when I'm eating food, I'm thinking about, you know, are there potential negative consequences to me eating the food? And the overall, the biggest consequence is eating too much food. It doesn't matter what the type of food is. If you eat like one cookie, that's going to be less stress on your body than eating 10 pounds of steak. Uh, although it's more inflammatory uh, in various ways, you know, overloading your body with food is something incredibly unhealthy. That being said, this is definitely the healthiest way to do it. You want to get a shitload of calories in? This is what you would do. Eat eight pounds of Wagyu in a day. I'm trying to remember when I did this last time, I think it was actually, I did the whole challenge raw without salt. Just because I was afraid of getting too thirsty. And I was still chugging down water like crazy. Man, I thought like, six hours, nap, I'll be good. I'll do two more steaks, but I don't know. I'm going to end up eating like raw dairy ice cream for a few days because of this. Just drink only milk. I hate fish so much that, yeah. I'd still rather eat this steak over fish, but I feel like I'm gonna vomit now. Which is weird, because I'm not that full. And I'm just gonna try to get through this steak and call it. Overall, like, I've never felt bad at any point throughout this day. Like, I could have gotten up and ran a mile after every single meal. The point is, you know, these cheap meals that these people are eating full of refined foods, carbs, sugar, vegetable seed oils. Either way, if you eat a lot of food, you're gonna stress your digestive system. It's just, when you eat steak, grass-fed steak, you're not causing all those other inflammatory reactions. You know, this just stresses your body to produce enzymes, digestive juices, you know, it's not too inflammatory. But when you put the, those sugars, those seed oils, those processed chemicals in your body, you need to detox them with your liver, you have the insulin, you have so many things going on in comparison to this. All right, let's weigh this up so that I never have to eat a steak again. So this is everything we didn't eat. We have one big steak left in the fridge. You know, we have a steak and a little bit of scrap that we just cooked. And then we have the scraps from the previous meals that we didn't want to eat. So that's, oh man, that was a big steak. One pound, 12 ounces, three pounds, one ounce. I didn't eat as much as I thought I did. Three pounds, eight ounces. And we started with eight pounds, 50, about nine pounds. So overall, we ate about five and a half pounds of meat. Not nearly as much as I did last time, I'm surprised. Oh well. As I said earlier, this challenge is much easier when using leaner meat. I think I really shot myself in the foot using the Wagyu beef. You know, last time I did this, I was well over seven pounds and I think I barely scratched, you know, six pounds here. So, uh, what are you gonna do? I mean, it's still a pretty large volume of food considering my size, you know, five foot eight, uh, 150 pounds or so. And I encourage you guys to try this uh, and promote this as opposed to the nonsense that people are doing now. I think it's a great challenge to see how much healthy food people can eat. And it doesn't have to be steak. I mean, yeah, we're doing a carnivore challenge because I'm on the carnivore diet, but I'd love to see people do these eating challenges but keep the food healthy. And even though they're not gonna be eating, you know, 10, 15, 20,000 calories worth of chicken and rice, it would be nice to set parameters for those things and, you know, stop people from all of these unhealthy eating habits. Once you have the nutrient density in your diet, the high quality animal foods, you won't crave those other foods. That's why these bodybuilders are having these outrageous cheat days because they're depriving themselves of fat, of animal nutrition, of the things their body needs and then they go crazy one day and they're still not getting what they need. Uh, so what are you going to do? Thank you guys for joining me. Let me know how you like this. And as much as I never really want to do this again, maybe we can do some more eating challenge stuff in the future. 
uh, but be a little bit more reserved, you know, not make it like a whole day thing. I have no problem sitting down and eating as much steak as possible, doing a mukbang or something, but uh, this was a little bit on the extreme side. Uh, so if you guys could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, share the video if you can. If you guys want to try these Wagyu steaks that I had today, go to frankiesfreerangemeat.com. Uh, you can also check out Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. If you guys do want to reach out to me for one-on-one -on -one consultations, send me an email, frank at frank-stefano.com. Thanks again for joining me, guys. Enjoy your carnivore challenge.